good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome video so let's get cracking friends today is a fun one we are revisiting an old project where i placed holes evenly in tinkercad i love getting comments and check this one out I had to use Google Translate, but they wanted to bevel the inside of those curves. Friends, it's pretty easy to send it to Fusion 360. Let me show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is cheat. And right here, I remember what I named it. It is Drill Bits. I've got the video. That is a huge advantage. You'll need to make sure you name your stuff smartly. So I'm going to switch to designs, and then I'm going to type drill. And when I press enter, bingo there it is two years ago and this one was left private when it opens that is the exact same project and once again the user wanted to bevel the insides of these I think I'm gonna even make this a little bit cooler I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna ungroup this so I took this design right here and I added a radius I'm gonna put that as zero right now so that it has straight edges and then I'm going to regroup it with control G and then we need to simply send it to Fusion 360. Note only basic shapes will transfer that is what I wanted to transfer I'm going to hit continue I do not want to put it in a project I just want to click send and let it do its thing mine is stored on my desktop so bingo I can just click that and wait patiently notice I did only have the selected shape which is cooler this warning pops up but I just need to be patient and bingo there is fusion 360 even though that warning popped it was just a matter of time before fusion launched and bingo we are in fusion 360 and there is our tinkercad project so the first thing i want to show you is as a tinkercad user everything you do with the mouse is going to feel funny unless you go over here to preferences and find the pan zoom and orbit shortcuts and switch them to tinkercad fusion 360 is the exact opposite and that one was super tough I also had to reverse the zoom direction and then everything started to feel like I expected. I could right click, orbit, zoom in, zoom out. It was all just how I expected. Now friends, I do want to give a quick shout out to cadclass.org. I am in the middle of this CAD class, 28 steps. It is amazing and I am learning a ton. I could not share what I'm doing today if I had not started this course. As an added bonus, friends, I have a coupon code for you. If you type 25, capital H, L, Tinkercad, you can get 25% off the full course price. The training has been fast, fun, and you actually create things on day one, which absolutely makes my day. So let me show you what I've learned. The first thing we want to do is we want to round these holes. Friends, we're going to do that with the letter F. It is called the fillet tool. Now it's asking where I want to do fillets. I'm going to first do it here and here and here and here. And I'm going to do one and press enter. Check out how sweet that turned out. So now friends, let's hit the letter F. And once again, I'm going to go here, 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 and here. One and press enter. Bingo. Amazing rounded shape. Now you could do that on the bottom or you could leave it to print flat. That's up to you. Real quickly, I'm going to round mine. So I'm going to do that F again and then I'm going to just click those edges. And this time I'll do them all at once just to show you that that is possible as well. Bingo, bango, boingo. Click, click, one, enter. <laughs> How cool is that? Now, friends, once you've got it completed, you'll want to export this for 3D printing. Here's a hack for you. If you click File and Export, it is going to take quite a while to get that design exported. If you switch over here to Bodies, Find the one body you created, do right click, save as a mesh. You can come over here and pick your format. I am gonna do an STL and I like binary. I am printing in millimeters. I'm gonna keep medium refinement and then I'm gonna simply 
hit OK. After just a moment, it pops up. Remember, this was my drill bit. I am not going to save this one to the cloud. Instead, I'm going to save it to my computer. And then I've got a special folder called 3D Modeling where I save all my 3D prints. Just like that, I can hit Save, and it is ready to open in Cura. Real quickly, I'm going to save what I did right here. Simple to hit save. So friends, there is the file name. You can pick a location. Down here, I've got my default and my CAD class projects. I'm going to put this in default. And then down here, I can simply hit save. So if I wanted to come back and edit it, I can. Now friends, that is only a tiny bit of what you can do in Fusion 360. I'll of course be creating more tutorials, but if you want to learn a ton, make sure you check out the ultimate online Fusion 360 CAD school, cadclass.org. Don't forget the coupon code of course, 25 capital HL TinkerCAD. Finally friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks again to Jorge. I absolutely love these sort of questions and it makes my day when we can find a simple way to solve them. Friends, I want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories for you to check out. Day one favorites, some useful starters, and then finally the Tinkercad essentials. Finally, friends, down on the right, there is the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to mention the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.